Hello, my name is Jared Christensen. I'm a product support specialist with EpiRock. Today we're going to go over the major components and the drivetrain with the MT42 battery powered truck. So this is the B5 battery pack. This is a battery pack for the MT42. It has five sub packs, unlike the ST14, which has four. The battery pack has the main isolation switch, the diagnostic port, it has the CCS charge port, as well as the display for the fire suppression internal to the battery. We also have the emergency pack flooding connector. Underneath this cover, we have our high voltage connections, sending high voltage power from the battery pack to the power distribution. We also have the low voltage communication cable Here on the top of the B5 battery pack, we have the TMS system, the thermal management system. This is used to help keep this battery at ideal operating temperatures. So we're on top of the battery powered MT42 and we are going to have a look at some of the major components in the power distribution system. So here we have high voltage distribution boxes. Here we have our inverters. We have an inverter for the front axle an inverter for the rear axle, axle. Those are the traction motor inverters. Back in here, behind this cover, we have the inverter for the hydraulic motor, the auxiliary motor. This box is a junction box for the high voltage interlock loop. Uh, troubleshooting on the HVIL system can be done from that box. Over here, we have two of the DC-DC converters. These are the converters that convert from 800 volts DC to 24 volt DC that this machine requires for all of its operating systems. Here on the back side of the power frame on the MT42 battery powered mine truck, we can see another DC-DC converter. We can also see the other end of the auxiliary motor inverter. We can see the back side of the two traction inverters. So here underneath the bed of the MT42, we have the completion of the drivetrain for the battery powered machine. It's gonna end with the electric motor, three phase motor. It has the high voltage cables running to the motor from the inverters that we saw up in top of the power frame. Those cables run through the articulation. That is a AC signal after it leaves the inverters to the motor. On the battery powered MT42 mine truck, we have a traction motor for the rear axle, as well as a traction motor for the front axle. In this situation, we were able to eliminate a gearbox or transmission for this mine truck. All of the duties of that drive system are now done by the electric motors, forward and reverse. For more information on the components and the drivetrain of a battery electric MT42, please contact your local EpiRock dealer or service center.